Hey world, oh, I'm going to try and do uh, doing stuff while doing stuff video. I think one of the first stuffs, I'm not pointing it at me, I think one of the first stuffs that I want to point out is that every day, every day, um, the people that work at the yard out the back have to, I didn't put the hot water on. Every day the people who work at the yard out the back, um, they, uh, well, one of them keeps a dog here. The, the dog's nice enough in itself, I guess. I'm not really a dog person. I love the ziggy. Uh, but I'm not really a dog person. It's not really my kind of thing. I don't particularly, it's not that I don't like them. It's just, I don't understand the emotional attachment that people put on dogs. It's just a dog. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> for example, this morning, uh, I call this particular dog the Black Death. Do you remember? Uh, I think I spoke in a vlog a couple of months ago about the fact that someone left their dog here and the aforementioned dog not only was a pain in the ass, but ripped up all the vinyl flooring for the kitchen and we had to wait for like six, eight weeks to have new flooring put down. Uh, so eight o'clock this morning, well quarter to eight this morning, all I had downstairs, scratch, 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 scratch. So uh, yeah, we got one of them. Um, that's the Black Death. Uh, Black Death, if I, if I were to give you any message at all, you're looking at me so it means you're listening. Shut the fuck up! Say so yes Dave. Yes Dave. He's not fucking listening. What are you fucking looking at? Eh? What are you fucking looking at? Wagging your fucking stupid ass tail. So yeah, animals. It's got to live in a cage. Him and Ziggy don't particularly inter... Well, they do interact really well, but he tries to dominate Ziggy. He's all fucking beaten up on his ass. It's not good. And he's got back, bad back hips, apparently. So before any of you ring the RSPCA and go, Why that dog in a cage? The dog's in a cage for a reason. All right? I don't really know exactly what that reason is, but if I were to be honest, if we substitute substitute no for care, we'd probably sort of close on the reason. I'm about to start doing stuff with one hand and the other hand. <laughs> we're gonna see how. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! But it's not working. <laughs> Why do I love to laugh on camera so much? What is it about me? I'd love to go sit with a psychiatrist for an hour and he's just like, Dave, why do you love to laugh on camera so much? I think it's because I like to watch myself back laughing. It's good to laugh. Everybody should laugh more every day. Um, Deviant's back on holiday and I still haven't seen him. He's been back for about three million years. He can't put me into his busy lifestyle. It's fine. I know he's busy. Uh, <clears throat> I've done loads of videos. I've done bucket loads of videos lately uh, and I'm really really enjoying it and there's something I need to talk about but can't quite talk about until I talk about something with someone else before I can talk about it with you <coughs> I've still got uh, plague's pretty much gone I made myself oh this is going to be a sit down moment isn't it um, I made myself quite ill because on my diet um I talk about my diet, I've talked about my diet like on the Saturday vlog every morning for ages. And I was really pleased because I've never really stuck with anything. Every time I say, oh, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to do... Uh, I always fuck it up and always forget and I always just sort of lose interest after about 25 minutes. And I don't know, just the diet thing really seemed to stick. It just Once, once I saw some attainable goals... Do you remember when I did the drawings, okay, and I said the problem with the drawings is that there's no end product. The end product is, I have a page with a pretty picture on it and I've got nothing to do with it. There's... I'm very much about having end results. YouTube videos, end results, the videos on the YouTube and then you look at it every now and again and see if anybody's watched it and you reply to the comments that are on there and stuff like that. And that is an end result, it's a, it's a point, it's a, it's a, it's a raison d'etre. Um, 
But the diet thing was very much tangible in the every Monday I'd get on the scales and I would have lost X amount of weight or I would have put it on or I would have whatever. And every time I was a good boy and didn't have sweeties when everyone else, I've spat on the lens. Hang on. Normal service has been resumed. <laughs> um, it, it was just nice and tangible. And, uh, I don't know, I kind of fucked up because a woman, a woman of my age, a lady, is supposed to eat about 18 points a day if you go on the Weight Watchers plan, the budget, the thing. Um, a man of my age is supposed to eat about 22. I've been eating about 14. And while I didn't make myself ill from a kind of anorexic, bulimic, puking every morning to stay thin kind of way, I didn't do anything that was particularly over top in that, in that manner. <clears throat> I just wasn't eating enough to stay healthy and I think my body just went, YOU'VE HAD ENOUGH! And um, <clears throat> I got a, a, some shitty virus, just one of 53 million generic viruses that just makes you go, I don't feel very well. And I just, I had two days off sick. And I, I must admit, I thought, sitting down, sitting down, changing hands. I thought with my two days off sick, it would be really kind of, oh, let's do loads of videos. And I'm off sick, man, so I'm not at work. So I've got loads of time to watch YouTube and movies and make films and edit on the computer upstairs and all that kind of jazz, right? And do you know what I did? Do you know how much I did? None. I sat in bed feeling ill for just two days and it was just, it was pretty horrible. It was shit. Uh, I'm going to make some breakfast and I did my Teradive video last night, which I haven't really watched back yet, but I think I'm going to import it into the machine and watch it back on there instead of, <clears throat> I really need to talk to you about this other thing, but I can't talk to you about it until I talk to another guy and once I've talked to the other guy, I'm going to talk to you and man am I going to talk to you. The whole mother in world. Love you. Back in a bit. Talk about something else. Uh, the end. Uh, I think. I think. The other thing I was going to talk about quickly, that probably I think actually demonstrates how much of a douche I was about something. I, I used the Franco. Uh, I used the Franco term, David. I, I hope you're happy about it. Philip DeFranco, if you're not signed to Philip DeFranco, if there's a spoon when you want one, go and sign up to Philip DeFranco. I don't know if you like watching vlogs, I guess if you watch mine, then you can't... Oh, fuck's sake, it's not easy. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do everything left-handed. Or am I? Well, balancing on a Sunday morning. It must be a Sunday morning because I've got hair sticking up. It's all good. Um, <clears throat> I moaned. I moaned about something. I had a really good bitch because we've never got any fucking toilet roll. And I'm the only one who ever really buys toilet roll. And I think it's because I live in grown up land where you have to provide for yourself. <clears throat> and the other two kind of, I don't think they've really come from that background. So I sat and had a really good fucking loud bitch the other day about blah blah blah, you never buy any fucking toilet roll, don't come to me with your problems because this is the real world and you're not fucking providing for it. Now Philippa has bought toilet roll once before, which was cool, uh, and then this weekend we've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 toilet rolls in the house because they've both gone, <gasps> better buy some bloody toilet roll before Dave goes on anymore. Uh, does this make me a douche? Does this make me a douche that I moaned so profusely that they felt the need to go and actually do what I'd asked? Or is that just... Woo! Is that just me... standing up for myself? Which one of the two is it? Oh shit, the toast's popped. So now we've got more toilet roll than you can shake a stick at. So, trust me, with that amount of toilet roll in the house, I'm gonna be shaking my stick. 
while watching gentlemen's reading material on the internet because we've just got loads. Oh, there's people coming in. I'm going to go. I've got to do breakfast. Okay, last couple of thoughts on our little tete-a-tete -tete for today. Uh, firstly, I'm very pleased about a couple of things. Uh, Strexus! Yeah! Uh, awesome. And... <laughs> Me Grimlock! Reviews on, reviews on both to come shortly. Uh, and I might... Oh, I don't know. There's the whole Hasbro thing about not bringing in the new wave of Transformers, but it's really, really bugging me at the moment because <clears throat> there seems to be such up your uproar and furor about it, but everyone seems to be thinking about it from a I just want my toy perspective as opposed to actually thinking with their brains about what really the financial situation of the world is at the moment. I just can't help but think that sometimes you just got to be grateful for the fact that they're actually bringing out some new stuff because it's been so long since there's been anything that's really good. And then you've got the likes of the new Jazz and the Dinobot combiner thing that's coming out and <coughs> Straxus and um, the Rams headed thing that I can't remember the name of. And just some really good stuff that's coming out. Everyone's excited about the new Turbo Tracks. And we wouldn't have that if Hasbro didn't prioritise where they made their money out of instead of just not bothering to do it at all. I, I think that's a conversation for another day. Uh, anyway, it's, it, things are really good. Things are awesome at the moment. So um, when I find out about the thing that I can't talk to you about because I need to talk to someone about the thing that I can't talk about because I need to talk to Ben about it first... You all know. Uh, SMS number one saying it's been a good couple of weeks. So uh, pick up your bad selves. <laughs>